Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth, so viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all, I am so excited because I talked about this in the uh, past makeup bingo video and I lost my mind. I couldn't get over how much I was just in utter love with this collection and it just arrived because I paid expedited shipping and you know what? I don't care. I don't care if this is terrible because when I tell you the presentation is amazing, it's amazing. This is, is this upside down? Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> like is this, upside down? this is amazing in today's video we are just going to do a first impressions or really just the eyeshadow palette and the lip product because i'm not putting that mask on my face not this face i do want to put it on my ass though apparently you can and i'm intrigued uh <laughs> So check out that video later on my Patreon. I gotta put that up behind a paywall. Anyway, do you imagine just me and Alex just slathering our asses with that cream? Press two down below if you want to see that. So the American Eagle Elf collection it was fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. I didn't care. I thought the eyeshadow palette was cute, but the real draw was the makeup bag. First of all, presentation-wise, this is so adorable. Look at this little little jean tag here. When you open it up, when I tell you, this was worth every goddamn penny it was okay <laughs> i also love the box the box is pure magic so we're just gonna treat her with care also i look like a fun dad today i don't know what the fuck is going on okay hello hi this is real jeans these are the probably the softest think of like your softest pair of period pants you know what i mean like the softest jeans that are just so comfortable you don't give a shit what they look like that's what these feel like this feels amazing comes with a little card that you would get on your jeans it's adorable i actually kind of want to put this in the box because i love the packaging that much when you do open it up oh, it's so good you get the eyeshadow palette which is adorable get cheeky clay mask and the lip product y'all know how much i love fun sponges and fun makeup bags this doesn't disappoint i was really like fucking hurt that i couldn't get that dunkin donuts bag fuck that bag i don't give a shit it can literally eat my ass i don't care this is everything this whole collection could be garbage i don't care i don't care this is worth it this was worth the 50 bucks right here okay it was i don't care i might as well just end the video now <laughs> If you were lucky enough to snag the box, then you know how special this is. And the people that missed it, sucks to be you. <laughs> sucks to be you, bitch. This is amazing. You're just jealous. Okay. All right. So, you know what? I had a long day at work today, so don't mind the attitude. Um, I'm feisty. I'll, I'll, I'll dial it back a little bit. But honestly, I just feel better than most people right now. And just let me have this, okay? I don't got a lot in this life. This is what's keeping all the lights on. You know what I mean? Like, this is great. So anyway, wow. Okay, so we're going to put her down. Worth every penny. Teresa's unhinged. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about the eyeshadow palette, which I'm pretty sure you could still get. I'm gonna pop the price here. This packaging is like everything. I just, I love the attention to detail. It's gorgeous. I love the little tag. This is what she looks like right here. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I actually don't even want to touch it, you know, because I just, it's like, I don't want to fuck it up. I don't even want to do swatches, to be honest with you. I just don't want to mess up the pan embossing, especially in like the swirly do shades. Like, holy shit, they're pretty though. Anyway, so we have this and we might as well try the lip balm, right? Let's try that one. So this one, I believe, let me get my phone because I don't know shit about anything because I don't care. So the Perfect Fit Lip Balm is $8 and this is a hydrating pH lip balm that changes into your own perfect pink shade. So let's open this match up okay <laughs> i don't even want to like fuck the packaging up a little i hate that i'm destroying the packaging but it feels like like a nice card stock it's just nice like this whole thing is just so nice Ooh, this is cute too <gasps> Ooh, she's blue okay i'm loving this all right so i have a lot of something talking on my lips but we're just gonna kind of uh, brush that away all right let's go here okay 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 i feel like it's uh not no this is not what i thought it was gonna be i thought it was gonna be a little like why does it look like i just ate a bunch of fucking ice pops you know what i mean is this my perfect pink shade i look like i'm dead what is this i'm dead <laughs> 
I am my namesake. Mmm, okay. You know, it's so funny. I tried a Yes Style product, right, in Monday's video, and that was something that I felt like just was a really beautiful pink on me, like very beautiful. This just, mm mm. I look like I'm dead, bro. All right, let me see if I just put this on the back of my hand. You can't, can you even see that? Can you even see that? People are like, what is these hand swatches? I know, I'm a piece of shit. I realize that. This is, okay, it's starting to, no, it's purple. I, I guess my perfect pink is dead. <laughs> All right, okay, so you know what? Not for me. This is kind of really, really weird. And I feel like the more I put on, the more I'm hoping that it's going to be okay. But I feel like I just look fucking psychotic. Can I use your bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> You know what I look like? I look like you would walk on the other side of the street to avoid me, okay? This is not it. This is not it. But whatever, we're gonna keep on keeping on. Let's talk about the eyeshadow palette. So this 12 pan palette retails for $16 and you have six mattes and six shimmers. Ooh, okay, okay. All right, Tess, I, what, the little swirly D one is pretty good. <gasps> oh, that's a good silver. Oh, that's a good silver. Oh, it's like a nice like silvery blue. All right, Tin Man Dick, come through. Oh, that's pretty too. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna do two different eye looks and we're just gonna see how it goes. I am so excited. Can you tell how excited I am? Honestly, so excited. <laughs> I hate this lip. This lip is scaring me. I'm gonna throw on a little bit of eye primer. All right, so I threw on a little bit of eye primer and I think what I wanna do is, ooh, 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 ooh. I need to do something with that silver shade. I'm gonna take the shade Mom Jeans, which is a very nice light blue. We're gonna toss that in the crease. I feel like a truck stop hooker. I love it. <laughs> Oh, I love it so much. It's like Mimi Bobak meets Truck Stop Hooker. Mama likes. I'm gonna take the shade Indigo and I'm gonna put that in the crease. Oh, that's good. Oh, I love how easy this shade is. Creating a nice amount of depth, which is awesome. Go back in with the lighter blue shade, Mom Jeans. Kind of blend those two a little bit better. I'm gonna take the shade High Rise, which is a white shade. And I wanna see actually if I blend that mom jean shade out just a little bit more. Sometimes blue eyeshadow can get a, a little wild on me. And I look uh, not well, <laughs> just not well. So I think this is really just kind of softening it up but also still making me look like a truck stop hooker. We don't want to get rid of that. We love the hooker. You know what's super impressive as well? The fact that these blue shadows do not have any fallout whatsoever. And I mean, I'm going a little fast and loose here, okay? Cause I'm tired. I'm fucking tired. So <laughs> I want to go to bed, all right? But as soon as I saw this collection, I knew I needed to like, I need to play with it. I need to play with it. But uh, so far so good. And this is probably some of the better Elf eyeshadow. You know what I'm talking about. Elf has a couple of different levels of quality. Sometimes things are like, oh, they're okay. And then some things are like, what the fuck? Amazing. This is kind of bordering on the what the fuck. This is looking really, really good. It's not patchy. It's not skipping. I have been playing with a lot of blue eyeshadows lately. Some are awesome. Some are, mm. this is not disappointing me whatsoever. It's way better than the fucking ColourPop blues I just played with recently. So that's a huge plus. Now what I want to do is, oh, okay. I kind of want to, oh, that's a pretty, Pretty fucking shade too. There's only a lot of depth actually in these little guys. Kind of surprising. I definitely know I want to play with that silver shade. It's just speaking to me. I have to. I love a good Tin Man deck. So I need to see if it's really good or not. But I think what I want to do is, ooh, do I do, oh. OOTD? No, I can't do that one. All right, I think I'm gonna take that indigo shade and I'm going to just kind of stamp it more in the outer corner. So what I wanna do is I want to pretty much use that 90s vibe shade, the silver shade on majority of the lip, but then I also want to use the shade to die for, which is a little bit above that. And I wanna use that shade in between the silver and the dark blue. So let's see how that's going to work out. So far looking really cute. I'm gonna put the silver down first. Oh, that is such a good silver. Oh, that's so good. That's so, so, so good. She is a little chunky. She does have a little bit of fallout though, but it could be the brush. So that could be a me problem. So let me just bat that away. And oh my God, that's amazing. It goes away beautifully. Just use a little bit more right in that inner corner there. I have 
coated eyes as you can see sometimes shimmer brushes can be a little bit too big for my eye shape and it's so fucking annoying oh this is perfect this is so good i'm gonna take that shade to die for and i'm just gonna use my finger oh yeah that's that's exactly exactly what i wanted so it has like this nice like, little bit of a tinge of like a of a light blue so it's like silver into blue not too much at all looks really really good and i'm going to go back in with that indigo shade make that outer corner a little bit more pronounced ah so good there was a little bit of fallout with that blue shade but i think it's because of that kind of stamping motion and i mean i look pretty fucking cute not gonna lie i'm gonna go back into the high rise shade that white shade and i'm just gonna pop that bitch in the inner corner it's a good white. It's a pretty nice white. It's definitely buildable. And it's the kind of white that's not disappearing, which is amazing. My biggest complaint sometimes with white shades is that they just fucking disappear. And it's like, really? Where the hell did you go? Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of liner on. So I have the Colfi shade right here. I'm just gonna pop that in the waterline. I'm gonna use that indigo shade to smoke out ever so slightly the lash line. I'm gonna take the shade Mom Jeans. I'm gonna blend that out, curl my lashes, apply some mascara, and then we're gonna move on to the next eye. So we have the first look. I mean, hello, bitch, okay? She's cute, we love her. I literally cannot stop eye fucking myself. I, oh God, I just wanna go out. <laughs> I wanna go out, all right? Like, I, why go to, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go to work tomorrow. Don't make me. I wanna do my eye blue and I wanna go, I, where is, there's nothing to do in my town. <sighs> I'm about to say, let's go to like the club. Who, uh, I'm too old, bitch. I can't, who's gonna, I can't. They're not gonna let me in. <laughs> Maybe if I do my other eye though that way. I mean, this shirt is pretty popping, just saying. Uh, <laughs> I'm liking this, I love this. I don't know who I've become, but I honestly am just so thrilled to meet her. She is a saucy bitch and I'm obsessed. Okay, so let's move on to the other eye. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna focus on, I obviously have to focus on the browns. You know I'm a neutral Nelly, okay? So I'm gonna go into the shade Cargo cargoes and oh she is a nice neutrally cool type of brown we like i mean there is a little bit of kick up and pan it's definitely a little bit darker than i thought it was gonna be not mad at it it's very very pretty kind of paired with some of these blue shades would be stunning so pretty i honestly am just really impressed with how nice these are laying down like very very nice very very pretty i'm gonna go into that corduroy shade we're gonna pop that right in the crease Deepen it up a little bit. Oh, you know what I can go? I can actually go to the twisty tree. That's where I'm going after this. <laughs> no, I've been good. I'm not going to the twisty tree. But I think about it every time I pass one by. Think about it. But I'm not going there. All right, we're nice and moody and just all kinds of beautiful. I'm going to go into the high rise shade. And I'm just going to blend this into the brown to make it a little bit softer so it's not super harsh and i love the white shade this is so good it's like a an eraser almost but not quite it's just really good at softening the look but not overtaking it it's just ah, it's making it super seamless super pretty we're gonna use the shade major flare and we're gonna pop that in the outer corner Okay, looking really, really good. I'm just gonna take a little bit of glitter glue. I'm gonna go into the low rise shade. It was more of like a pewter shade. Okay, so I'm gonna go into that shade. Exactly what I wanted. I am very, very surprised with how wonderful these shimmers are. Not like ultra metallic, right? Where it's like, oh my God, you know? Um, but they're just a really nice fucking quality and they're not creating any sort of texture. They're not getting funky. Like they just look really, really, really good. I mean, what I created was a very, 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 very basic bitch look, but a look that I love, that I'm obsessed with. I mean, adorable adorable this is what i would wear to work all the time it's a little dramatic but that's just me <laughs> now i'm going to go back into that major flare shade and i'm just going to line the top lash line just a little bit and that is working really beautifully as a liner i'm not a huge fan of liquid liners and i suck at lining my top line i've definitely gotten better over the past you know a couple years or so right by no means am i uh, fucking talented or gifted and i think too when you have hooded eyes it's very easy to overtake the whole goddamn eye and make you look like you got punched in the face yeah <laughs> 
So we don't want that. I'm gonna go in with a blue liner. I'm gonna go into that indigo shade, go back into that high rise shade, and then just blend it out. Cause I want a little bit of blue in the waterline and in the lash line, but I just don't want it to take away from the beautiful sultriness that is the lid. Okay, I'm gonna go back into that high rise shade. I'm gonna match the inner corner of this shade. Okay, curl my lashes, do some mascara, and let's talk about it. Here's the second look. I mean, you f buy this. Dude, buy this. What are you doing? Why are you watching? <laughs> buy this okay this is fucking fantastic i think the last time i really loved an elf palette like loved the shit out of the palette was this stupid chipotle palette that one was fantastic and i'm sure there's some elf palettes that i'm just not thinking of right that have been pretty good but when i think of something that's like oh my god i can't believe how good this is immediately i go to that fucking chipotle palette that's this this is chipotle part two bitch i'm gonna go buy a backup okay i'm gonna go buy a backup this is so fantastic i love this this is fucking great i don't got a bad thing to say about it i tried i want to say a good chunk of the shadows obviously i cannot talk about longevity or anything like that i'm literally going to go to bed or <laughs> take the shit off and go to bed but for first impressions just in terms of playing with it i kind of want to call out sick tomorrow so i can keep playing with this palette this is really great listen for 16 dollars that's fucking good that's a fucking steal compared to most palettes that are so goddamn expensive that is just like ugh okay quality this exceeded my expectations and i think what helped is the fact that this baby right here did not disappoint i think if i would have got some bullshit plastic pieces shit fucking makeup bag i think i would just be really sour right now <laughs> and i'd be like this is palette's fine but like bam, bam. honestly just i'm so happy 50 dollars to me fucking well spent well spent i don't give a shit the lip bomb thing that's i mean the packaging's cute this is stupid my perfect pink is me dead think about that i don't want to okay because that depresses me because i'll be 38 this year do you think i want to think that no <laughs> fuck no so this i would say you don't need this palette absolutely i can't speak to the ass cream but when i try it baby i'll let you know if the ass cream is all that good uh <laughs> Don't be surprised though if uh, my patrons see my ass. Listen, it was bound to happen sooner or later. <laughs> this was a really fun collection. I'm happy I picked it up. I don't have a bad thing to say about it at all. I'm gonna try to throw in some swatches here quickly just to kind of show you what all the colors look like, but the mattes performed beautifully. There was barely little to no fallout. And if I did have fallout, it was very, very easy to clean. The shimmers are really nice. They're not the most metallic of the bunch, but they're just beautiful shimmers. And the silver, the silver is a nice Tin Man Dick silver, which I love. Silver is very hard to come by because sometimes it could just be too much, too sparkly, too bullshit. Even with the shimmer shades, there is a little bit of glitter bukkake, but the glitter bukkake is very easy to clean. So yeah, I mean, honestly, 10 out of 10. And I love that this has a little tag. Every little thing about these palettes, the details on this collection is outstanding. It's f fucking blowing my mind right now, okay? I really, really hope they do another collection similar to this because it would be fucking everything. If this interests you, it's still available. Get the eyeshadow palette. That is definitely a must. If you want to look like you're dead, get the lip balm. If you want to put something in your ass, get the ass cream. <laughs> I will... <laughs> have an updated video later in the month uh, talking about the ass cream a little bit more as well as you know my continued thoughts on the palette but honestly I can't wait to wake up tomorrow and put this all over my face again this is a lot of fun so anyway now I want to hear from y'all let me know down below if you picked up anything from this collection and if you did have you received it and if you are going to receive it rest assured you're gonna fucking love it it's so good it's so goddamn good anyway um with that said I want to say thank you so much for watching I truly appreciate it as always feel free to like comment hit that subscribe button it's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts follow me on instagram and to my beautiful wonderful youtube members and patrons thank you so much for giving this delicious disgusting filthy trashy really trashy really filthy really gross really nasty really disgusting really gross the garbage about a float i couldn't do it without you i love your durable little delicious faces and i just want to gobble you all up to you live inside my belly and we could be one and i will see you little pumpkins on friday bye